Beautiful tribe. This is Emily Potter. I'm the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. And just to let you know, the ways that I choose the topics of my live videos comes from you. So it's because of experiences with you on the phone and in the tribe and your comments. It's because you're sharing with us where you feel stuck and what is holding you back in our tribe. And so then that sparks the live video. So if you are having a place that you feel stuck, this is the place to lean into that and then we can discuss it and then there can be some energy around it, some momentum, some movement. So that's how that works and I'm, I'm sharing that because somebody actually asked me recently, so what's next? What's the next video about? I said, it comes from you. What is, what is holding you back? That is specifically what I want to talk about is you. So Today's topic is exactly that. Do you want to know the number one key to unlocking stuck energy on your musical path? This comes from a conversation that I had last night with a tri brother because he used the key and it was so inspiring and it was so uplifting to talk to him and to see him use this key that I wanted to share it all with you. So I'm going to actually first begin with three things, three places that I've heard our, our tribe talk about being stuck. Number one, as I've heard you say, I'm not a good enough musician. Some of you are saying that. Number two is that you're afraid to share your music. I am very well aware of some of our tribe who has not shared anything with us yet. And the reason why is because you're afraid. You're staying in that place of fear. And so that's a place where you might feel stuck because you want to share with us, but you're feeling afraid, which I honor your path. Number three is that whatever is on your path, it probably consists of something that you have to invest in with money so that you can say really easily and be stuck in that place of saying, I can't afford it. So one, I'm not a good enough musician. Number two, I'm afraid to share my music. Number three is I can't afford it, whatever it is. Well, if you decide to stay stuck and just stop the sentence right there, you are experiencing one of these places. You're experiencing frustration, you're experiencing jealousy because you're watching other people live their life, you're seeing them be free, and you're having that jealousy space. Um, you might be feeling depressed or angry or just imprisoned, just that space of just not feeling free. And that's the consequence of staying stuck. And that's why we want to talk about this is so that you can actually know the key to getting on the other side of that stuck energy. This works every time. Now, I don't always know the, the lessons that you want to learn in that stuck energy because if you aren't ready to get unstuck, stay where you're at. Stay there. You're doing an exploration of what it feels like to feel stuck because you are divine energy experiencing stuck energy. There's nothing wrong with that. Let yourself feel that all the way, all the way, so that it gets to the point where you are a master of what it feels like to feel stuck and to feel frustrated. You know those intimate emotions very, very well. And there's no reason to change that until you are complete with the lesson. And I'm talking to your divine self because you are not a victim to your circumstance. You are simply experiencing all emotions available to you as a human. So when you are ready, because if you're not ready, then just stay where you're at. When you're ready to get unstuck, this is the key. This is the number one key. And this is what our tribe brother said and did and utilized on the call that I had with him yesterday, which inspired this conversation. It's so simple. I'm going to make it simple. I'm, I'm going to express it simply. And so that you can now, from now on, every time you see this key, you're going to re be remembering, ah, yes, I remember. This is the key. So let's put it all down, all of this this all down to one little tiny key. Very, very simple. The key is a comma, a comma in your sentence. Let me explain. Let me show you the example. The three examples we just said, I am not a good enough musician, comma, 
And so I'm going to watch YouTube instructional videos and I'm going to practice 10 minutes a day and I'm going to talk to other musicians and I'm going to da 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 da. So your conversation with yourself does not stop with a period. I'm not a good enough musician, period. Stuck. You swipe away the period so that that's not the end of the story and you put in a comma and you make the other side of the comma, the swiftness, the, the, the motion forward. Number two, I'm afraid to share my music, period. Stuck. Is the, is the silence uncomfortable? I'm afraid to share my music, period. I'm afraid to share my music, comma. So I'm going to get, what did I write here? I'm going to get one 30 second song ready, 30 seconds. And I'm going to look at the future date on the calendar of, in our tribe we have on Tuesdays, the Imperfectly Perfect Open Mic Day. If you don't know that yet, it's a day where you are invited to celebrate being imperfect and our tribe is leaning into that vulnerability and supporting each other every Tuesday to encourage people who are afraid to start with those 30 seconds and start to get out of the stuck energy. So you with that comma say, I'm afraid to share my music. So I'm going to look at the calendar, even if it's in freaking six months from now, I I, I'm afraid I'll be afraid for next six months or I'm going to do it next week. Whatever that is for you, whatever works for you. But that comma takes you into the forward movement of, okay, I am going to share a 30 second song and I'm saying 30 seconds so that you can for sure do more, but 30 seconds, 10 seconds, we don't care. Whatever works within your parameters of, of that forward movement going forward. And I'm going to get that 30 second song ready to, to post that video in this very nourishing, very supportive tribe who I already know is going to love it, especially if I tell them that I'm doing something new. And then right after I post it that night, I'm going to celebrate myself by taking myself out to dinner and celebrating me and being brave and doing something new and having a fresh new energy. So there's an example of the comma and all of that swift, beautiful movement that happens after the comma so that you are not stuck. Number three, this is a good one. I, I saved this one for the, the last. I can't afford it, period. That's always going to be true, by the way. That's the nature of dreams. Dreams will always be too expensive. That's the nature. That's the purpose of them. They're taking you out of where you are, expanding you into your limitlessness to the next level. It's the purpose of dreams. It's, it's a celebration. If you say the words, I can't afford it, you are on track. Do you still want it? Yeah, I so want it. Heart is now more powerful than bills. Heart is more now powerful than anything external. Do you still want this thing? Yeah. Well, then the, the sentence doesn't stop there. I can't afford it. But look at my snapshot picture of where I'm at right now. I can't afford it. Okay, well, then let's do a comma instead of a period. I can't afford it, comma. So I'm going to look at the resources that I have right in front of me. Okay, what do I got? I have a friend that I know about who did a, a crowd crowdfunding and I'm going to call that friend. That's the next step. Now there's no stuck energy. There's a step that happened. There's a phone call. There's a conversation. There's an inspired thought that happens on that conversation in that conversation. Number two, I can't afford it. So I'm going to cancel my Netflix. I'm going to cancel my subscriptions to things. I'm going to sell my furniture. I'm going to sell my jewelry, my television and my bike because now I want this more than I want this. And I can afford it because I'm making ways to afford it. There is any, I'm going to do the whatever it takes attitude right now. I'm going to, to apply that right now because I'm not going to stop with a period. 
and I'm not a victim to my circumstances. I want this thing. And so I want to let you know that I did most of these myself. These are all from my own personal experience. I have also been stuck and I get to look at this comma instead of a period. What do I have right in front of me? What I know about life in my own experience is life always wants that next step. It always, it, there's always one step available. Always one step available. It, it might sound very simple. It's like a 30 second song or a 30 second conversation on the phone with a friend or anything. There's always that next step. There's always a comma. It does not end with the period. So that's the key. The number one key to getting unstuck is to finish your sentences. Finish the sentences instead of just staying where you are. And I want to say thank you to that tribe brother last night who did that right in the conversation. He said something that was a period and then within two minutes he changed it and put a comma. He said, well, I guess I could do this and this. I'm like, there it is. There it is. It's there all the time available for you. So when you are ready to go to the next level, when you want that forward momentum of having that positive, positive change happen out of that stuck energy, reach out to me. We'll get you to the other side, especially those of you who are really interested in being a full-time musician worldwide, a world-traveling music medicine holder, speaking specifically to your vibrationally matched audiences. When you're ready for that dream and stepping into that dream, reach out to me. We'll get you to that side of the beautiful, beautiful reality that you've created. So I love you guys. I love talking to you guys. And I hope that that was enjoyable for you. I am looking forward to many more commas instead of periods so that you can feel very free to get out of that stuck energy. Reach out to me if I get to be part of that. And we will talk then. I will see you in the next video.